Um, no, I was very reserved and, you know, nice. Really? That's good. That's a chick with hang-ups. <laughs> That's good. Hey, Problem. We, we asked you, you think Sam's black? <laughs> I mean, she would know, I you guess. You think there's some black in the family? No, there's nothing wrong with it. Well, you know, we don't know where the hair comes from. We're, mm. we're not sure... I mean, my dad has very curly hair on his side uh -oh. of the Uh-oh. Well, Bobby, you got some curly hair, too. I know. I, so I, Not like I Sam, though. <laughs> Sam's got that special uh, hair it going on. Be, it's someplace on my side of the family because both Sam and Casey have it and I have it. But Amanda's got, like, nice, normal, regular, wavy that's hair. Race, that's racist. That's racist to say it like and that. It, and Amanda's the one you don't like? Just <laughs> to reiterate <laughs> the one everybody out there? Amanda, yeah. I love Amanda. I told them... That you love all of us equally. I've told that many times to you. Wow, you, you better guys. listen to the replay, and Bobby. All three of my kids are very, very special. Special. Yeah, That's of. funny. We are special. You know what that means? Retarded. No, not like that. <laughs> no, that does. Oh, special means right, retarded, though. though. Right. Even your show is special delivery. <laughs> oh, it's <was> retarded <laughs> delivery. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, you know, this oh, boy, she's show. telling oh, us she so wants we out. have to go. Yeah, yeah. Here, you gotta go. <laughs> she wants out. <laughs> I can't tell you how much fun this has been. It's really been fun. I like, I like, uh, I, is this the first time we've spoken? No. no, no. no. Jesus oh, what do I know? I'm she, in an alcoholic, whatever, <laughs> haze you know what? all the time. I, I, have, I have spoken, I mean, I've, I've talked on the show before, because I, I was on the phone that, that day when Sam, not long after Sam started, when Mick Could someone tap me when this gets interesting? I was how on dare the you? phone that right. day. Just wonder. Just tap traumatized me. traumatized him with that. Why don't you like Bobby? I'm not being tapped. No, no, I like Bobby a lot. You don't like Bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very nice. She's she very sounds nice. very nice. She really oh, does. And she'll put up with these shenanigans, too. Has she? Does she get mad, Sam? Has she ever gotten mad at you and yelled at you? Yeah, she used to, if I smarted off, she would open hand smack me in the front of the mouth. Hey, wow. wow. Yeah. She would really smack you in the mouth? Like Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> damn. Give us an example of Sam Ed where you had to really discipline him, one that really stands out. Like, did he ever go, who's my real friend? <laughs> no, I, I, no, Give us one good one. I, I, I found a girlfriend in school. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I think you smother me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't think of a specific time because they were so rare when Sam misbehaved. Oh, yeah, you're, you're what a one good of those boy. Guys, Sam. I was a, good I was a boy. bit of an all-around smart aleck. A smart aleck. <laughs> but Bobby, yeah. you can't think of one where you had to discipline him. Not really, no. Did you ever spank I'm his not, little bottom I only, no, in the past I, week? I didn't really do that. I did once or twice. I mean, I would do things like if he really was, you know, a wise guy, I would yeah. do the open hand thing where I just... A Weisenheimer. ...put the front of his mouth so he had to stop talking. Uh-huh. Or if we were in the car, I would reach back and hit his legs with my bare hand and his bare leg. Wasn't his leg. Like <laughs> and once in a great while, he might at home have to go sit in the naughty chair. Oh, oh really? <laughs> that's a <laughs> the fist on it. That's not true. Naughty chair. <laughs> so, they would, they would go sit in the naughty chair. What the fuck's a naughty chair? Up, <laughs> Although Nord's definition is perfect. Now, what is the naughty chair? <laughs> and what room is the naughty chair in? This little chair I kept over in a corner that faced the corner <laughs> oh. in, in a in like the Blair living Witch, room in the day <laughs> where, I, where nobody was, where he had to be <laughs> by himself. Uh -huh. And that's what I did with all the kids. If they needed a timeout, oh. they had to go. Oh, to look, Logan's, yeah. Logan's saying naughty chair equals mommy's naked lap. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Logan needs that to. That would be a naughty chair, <laughs> though. Logan. Now, the chair the toilet with a plunger in it. <laughs> <laughs> when Sam would bounce on the naughty chair for hours. <laughs> I wouldn't. Nothing says naughty. I would. Like a naked mom. <laughs> oh, would it be funny if a punishment were really barbaric? Well, once in a while, when he'd talk when my programs are on, I would burn his genitals with a curling iron. <laughs> <laughs> they were just barbaric punishments. This, this nice lady. <laughs> this nice lady and a nice voice, and she's yeah. just barbaric with her punishments. Well, occasionally, if he would talk too loud, he would put Drano in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does sound lovely, though. My dad was more the disciplinarian. He would take away my wrestling. What? You wouldn't be able to watch it? That's or? right. And what about anything like magazines, memorabilia? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. No wrestling for you, for young man. For right? how long, though? The well, naughty, it would naughty chair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, is that is one naughty chair. 
It got naughtier for three of his friends, too, when she turned it over. <laughs> <laughs> Sam and his friends are running around with the naughty chair attached. <laughs> the one thing true. I can tell you is that all these, all these parenting advice magazines and all these, you know, um, parents, counselors, and all Swank. that to tell you, don't bribe your kids. Just give them positive encouragement. Wow, they that's good. They must have no kids because I get, nothing works like a bribe. Oh, like a good bribe? Oh, yeah. Sam, Sam would do anything. For sweets? He was promised, like, a wrestling magazine. Yeah. Oh. oh. I'm sure that helped in the neighborhood. Yeah. The older gentleman. A magazine with a bunch of <laughs> scantily clad men in it. I'm not supposed to get in the car with you. How about this Hulk picture? All right. <laughs> oh, man. All right, where are we going? Says hi to Florentine, who's in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> There was no molestation. No? No. Uh, that's you want to go on record and say that? I will go on record and say there was no molestation in All my right, childhood. So he was never, did Sam ever come home late or ever do anything where you were disappointed in him? I got to tell you, uh, Sam never disappointed me. Yeah. He would sometimes, you know, Disappoints us. he would worry oh. me a little mm. bit, but he never disappointed me. Worry you a little bit? Like, like would you s sit up waiting for him to come home? Oh, no, he, he wasn't a problem coming home. He would, he would oh, either be faggot. home on time or he was, would call. He was really a good boy like that. A good boy. Why would, why would he worry you when him and his friend would come out of the tree fort and no, they'd both mostly, be duck walking? <laughs> what, I, what, I, what I probably worried about the most was the fact that, you know, unless, like in school, unless he really was interested in a particular subject or really liked it, he just barely did what he had to do. That's everybody. Yeah. And, well, maybe, but he really, I mean, it was like, even when he was in college, mm -hmm. I, I remember he, he actually came home and he'd done, he'd done poorly on a particular exam and he said, oh, Heterosexuality? Well, his, teacher handed, his teacher handed my exam back and just looked at me and said, Sam, you gotta crack a book. You know who that teacher oh. was? You know who that teacher was? Who was that teacher? Star of film and television, Peter Weller. Peter Weller? Yes. <laughs> Peter. Yes, Peter Robocop. Robocop taught he, you? Yes, he did. He taught me. Oh uh, no, he didn't say. He didn't say crack a book. He saw Sam and Jim Shorts. He goes, I want to book that crack. <laughs> 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 Sorry, <laughs> stupid joke. No, it works. <laughs> now, why was Robocop teaching? He taught me history of the Roman Empire through film. Ugh. That's oh, his, through that's film. His, that's his hobby, the so, Roman Empire. So you don't really see him? No, no. He was there. He was there for every single class, teaching it for a whole year. The whole semester. Why wasn't he... T he doesn't get any work. What are you talking yeah, about? That's true. What am I talking about? He used You're to right. just name drop the whole time. He said he was in a jail. For a whole year? The whole semester. Why wasn't he... T he doesn't get any work. What are you talking yeah, about? That's true. What am I talking about? He used You're to just right. name drop the whole time. He said he was in a jazz band with Jeff Goldblum. And he said he was trying to get Mel Gibson to come in, but he didn't know if you'd call him back. Yeah, I wouldn't call Mel Gibson. That's <laughs> sure. <laughs> wow, that's something. Right, let's let Bobby go. Thank you very much, ma'am. It was nice talking to you. Yes. Get that stuff together for tomorrow's uh, show and tell. I don't like that. Hey, I'll see what I can do. Thanks, guys. Thank Bye. you, Bobby. Bobby. Bye, Ms. Roberts. Bye. What a sweet woman. Why don't we... Uh, very nice, Sam. <clears throat> we'll She's do... a very nice lady with a very disappointing son. I guess. That's but not true. She is hiding so much, like, from herself about her.